Hello guys, my name is Dankwa Desmond Ankuma. I'm a graphic designer at Ghana Tech Lab. What is graphic design? When we talk about graphic design, it's basically uh, made up of two components, the graphic aspect and the design aspect. So when we talk about the graphic aspect, it's basically um, the elements we see in our flyers, like the lines, textures, dot shapes, etc. right, and the text. And the design aspect is basically the principles that govern how we arrange these elements, okay, to make them visually pleasing. Three ways to describe myself, I would say I'm a creative, I'm innovative, and I'm digital. So digital in the sense that from morning to evening, most of the activities in my life, it's either on a computer or any electronic device I can find my hands on. So how I got into this field of work is actually very fascinating because back in school I studied earth science and majored in petroleum geoscience. So uh, most people actually think by now I'm on a rig or something, but I actually followed my passion after school, watching online tutorials and all that. And fortunately for me, I got a national service opportunity at Ghana Tech Lab. And since then I've been learning on my own and developing my graphic design skills. I chose this field of work because even as a kid, I found myself being drawn towards art-related stuff and uh, design-related stuff. So when I had the opportunity after school to be a graphic designer, I, I thought, why not pursue this full-time? One of the challenges I face in this field of work is getting to balance your creativity with deadlines. Because sometimes you face something called artist block, where you have zero inspiration to work on projects but here is the case you are required to deliver so i would say that's one of the major challenges but challenges are meant to be overcome stress well this field of work you can't do without stress but how i usually really stress is to crack jokes with my colleagues and fortunately enough we also have like a table tennis court back at work so I get to smash a few of my colleagues, give them down zero and all that. Every industry comes with its own challenge. And to say this industry isn't a tough one would be a lie because every industry, as I said, comes with a challenge. So the thing is how you overcome the challenge. It's not about it being a tough industry or not because you can't choose a particular industry because of it being tough. Because trust me, every industry has its own challenge. Role models, well, I don't have a particular role model. I think I follow quite um, a number of creatives on Instagram and um, all sorts of social media platforms. And I think I just take inspiration from everywhere. So I don't really have a particular role model. In the next five years, I, I see myself being one of the most renowned graphic designers in Ghana with my designs having a lot of impact in people's lives and the country as a whole. Inspiration and in design comes from a lot of things. Okay, so I can't really say who inspires me because earlier on I said I don't really have one role model because I follow a lot of creatives. So it's not really about who inspires me, it's about what inspires me. So I'll say I'm inspired by my surrounding, I'm inspired by what I see at that particular point in time. One advice I can give to anyone out there is that they should follow their passion and just do what they love because doing what you love um, doesn't seem as so much of a work and also you shouldn't be swayed by people's perspective and what they think about you, what they think you should be. Just be what you think you want to be and any other thing will just fall in place. People that have been supportive in this, my journey, well, I can't start without giving the biggest thanks to God. And secondly, my parents, because going to school for four years, studying petroleum, geoscience, and all of a sudden switching to a graphic designer, it's a pretty tough one. So I'd like to say a big thank you to my parents for really understanding and being supportive so far. I would also say um, a very big thank you to 
my colleagues at work, especially the media team, for giving constructive feedbacks on my work and giving me certain guidelines here and there. Because starting out was quite challenging, but I'm gradually picking up and I'd like to say a big thank you once again to them.